Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Terminal and iChat to get someone's IP address. Now, what is someone's IP address? You might already know this, but it's a unique number that indicates their network, and with that number you can do things like figure out where they live, uh, block their IP from your site so they can't visit your site, stuff like that is generally what an IP is used for. You might have your own purposes, whatever. So this requires um, that the other person can video chat with you or they have uh, eye chat. Either one is fine. Um, so there are two methods to do this and the first one I'm going to be showing you is with video chat. So first of all we're going to go into terminal and we're going to type sudo space tcp dump. And when you hit enter normally it will ask you to type a password. Just type the password. It won't show the letters that you type but uh, it's, it's your user password. It's the password for the account that you're currently on. And uh, in order for this to work, by the way, you have to be an administrator. But anyway, once you type this code, you'll see all this junk start flying up into the terminal. And this is actually all of the network activity on your computer. So you'll see all of the uh, information that's going back and forth from your computer to the internet. We're going to be using this to see uh, what servers we're talking to using, um, using iChat. So, Let's go ahead and start a video chat with my friend John. We're going to be getting his IP address. So let's VC with him. All right. So now that I'm in a video chat with him, you'll see a pretty constant stream of traffic in my terminal window. These are all the packets that are getting sent back and forth between me and my friend John. So once we get like a couple of these, we can just go into terminal and press control C. And you'll see uh, each line looks pretty similar, actually. So let me just make this terminal wider so you can see each line independently. It has like either a greater than or like either this thing before or after the greater than and this thing before or after the greater than. Now, generally, if you see an IP that says 192.168. something, that's your local IP address. This isn't what we want. We want his remote IP address. Now we're going to get something very similar to that, and that's his host name. So on the right side of the greater than, in this case, right here it's on the left side, you'll see pool-whatever.phila.files.verizon.net uh, dot dot and then some number. The number is the port. We don't worry about this. So get everything up to the dot before the port number. So everything from like here to here, from after the greater than to right before the dot and then the number. So we grab this and let's copy that. Now this is his host name. In order to get his IP address from this, we just have to ping it. So we type ping space and then we paste that in. We hit enter. And right here is his IP address. That's his IP address. That's his IP address. His IP address is covering my terminal window. So that's how to do it with video chat. Now a problem is that if you're trying to get someone's IP address, they probably don't know you too well and they don't want to video chat with you. So uh, there's another way to do it. It's less reliable and I'm not sure if it'll work even in this video, but it's an option. So I'm going to end the video chat just to make things simpler. So what we're going to do is start a direct IM with my friend John. What that is, is whenever you send an image to someone, it connects directly to their computer so that way everything is faster. So let me just hit the up arrow twice, and uh, so that way we retype the TCP dump command. I'll hit enter again, and now I'm running TCP dump in my terminal. So let's open a new chat with John, drag in an image file. You can just use any image, and then hit enter. And now it says direct instant message session started. That means I'm connected um, either directly to him or to an AOL proxy. Now in this case, I'm connected to an AOL proxy, so I'm not actually getting his IP address. But in a lot of cases, it'll be someone else's IP. Or it'll be you'll be connected directly to that person. So let's let's start spamming him with messages. You know, let's let's send some random crap, uh, a lot of crap, so that we we fill up the window, and then we'll hit Control C in the terminal. So you'll see traffic very similar to what we had before, where uh, it's 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 some host name greater than my IP address or my IP address greater than some host name. Now this host name is clearly blue.aol.com, so that's not my that's not my friend. That's not John's thing. So um, in this case, it didn't work. But if this isn't aimrend dash whatever, then it should be whatever we had above. You know, pool dash whatever dot files dot verizon whatever their host name is. 
So this will work only if it allows you to connect directly to them. I'm a special case because I have certain settings on my router, but for you it should work. So you'll have their host name right there in the TCP dump. So I hope this helps anyone that's trying to get someone's IP address. Um, it's pretty simple, this method, and it's worked for me in the past. So thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.